So what I am about to show you is quite possibly the first project I actually made on my own. And of course the worst code that I have ever written. At the time I had no idea how classes work, so my files were full of these public static voids and public static variables, that sort of thing. So what I'm about to show you is the original unedited video that I made when I first made this project. Enjoy. I'm actually quite proud of myself right now. I've made, well, without using any snippet or anything like that off the internet, I have made a little text-based map thingy. Let's go see what it does. Starts off picking a class. Oh, right now that doesn't actually do anything. It was just there, because why not? And then you pick a name. And here you are. At the top there, you can see the map. That is where you start off. In the middle there, there's statistics. In the bottom there, there's directions. So I just went north, and after I go north, I can go back down to where I started. I can go back north, I can go north, east, south, west, and then south again. I'll be back to where I started. You know, I'm just going to explore the whole dungeon. This is only a 3x3 a three three dungeon, so it's not actually that big. But, yeah. Let's go see how this works. Out of my dungeon. If you look at the bottom middle, you can see that is the start. That's how the start looks in game. And here's a comparison to it in the map. So, as you can see, when I go north, I'll end up in that middle section, as seen on the map with the red circle around it. So, if I go into the maps class, I can see that there's actually a very big list. And each one of these is a method containing the shape of a map. That's the start place I just showed you. This is the middle section. Um, I showed you earlier as well. Just that would make a map though, so I had to make a multi-dimensional array with each value assigned to a specific number. Now you may notice that the numbers are actually on the right of our methods in the maps class. And you see number one was at the bottom there. Let's see, at the bottom. Number 12 is in the middle. And guess what? Number 12 is what that was yeah and then it's basically the same idea for the rest of them as well it looks is that in the main game loop i have a method called where am i in the maps class and basically it checks to see where the player x and y is in the current map and it's saying if the value of that section of the array is equal to that number then it will make that part of the map. So, see, the first one, if it's part, if it equals one, it calls start, which was the start. Number two is west east, which isn't actually part of our map at all. But you know, so. then it checks for an input of direction, which checks whether the player can move into that direction, and then adds x and y. So yes, but, then, but if they can't, then it will just like not let them go in that direction at all, and they'll stay in the place they are currently at, and that's how it works. I'm terrible at explaining things, but yes, that's how it works. Did I seriously think about making C-sharp tutorials? Oh my goodness. Yeah, they would have been some of the worst, most misinformed uh, tutorials on the whole of the internet. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video which showcased my like first projects that I made on my own. So yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.